Well, Silverwood is gearing up for a very busy summer season. Yeah, as you plan your trip to ride the roller coasters up there, you might spend some time watching a little bit of magic. Our photographer Dave Summers shows us more tonight. Wesley, take any card out of the deck and I'll tell you what it is. Two of spades. I was teching shows here back in the 90s, uh, running the lights and sound. Now, I've seen that card, Wesley, so let's pick a different one. Now, I'm not going to influence your decision. Completely free choice. Two of spades? Yeah, let's pick one I haven't seen, Wes. All right, thanks. On a dare in 2000, uh, became a magician, and been doing it ever since. Take a different card, but don't show it to me, man. It's a trick. Hold it up really high so all these people over here can see it. Get everybody, yeah, okay, yeah, all right. Now, folks, this is without a doubt the world's most difficult card trick. One-handed nine of diamonds for Wesley. Here we go. No pressure. Ooh. We're going to have a good show. Woo! Phantasm started as uh, we wanted to do something different than the traditional magic show to where it's just trick, 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 poof, poof, peer and smoke, and then, you know, go to the ending. Uh, we wanted to tell a story with ours. My heroes, David Copperfield. Yeah, a lot of magicians don't like David Copperfield. I don't understand why. He is the best, period. So Isaiah does the shows in here on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. He was my apprentice. He came in here when he was 14, and then now he's soloing. It's always a work in progress. Uh, we've got two new illusions we're, we're still trying to implement in the show right now. We've got a brand new Harley Davidson production. All of the different elements that we bring together in culmination of what we now call Phantasm has been, yeah, it's, it's super cool to see all of those elements come together and bring those into my own show as well. My favorite's getting the same reaction from the four-year-old in the family as we do from, you know, the mom and the dad or the uncle. It's, they actually will light up too. It's the family business at this point. <laughs> like, right. it, you couldn't make it more magical than that. <laughs> so, Our kids will probably take it. over. Oh, goodness. We're oh. not trying to force it on them. No. I want to support whatever they want to go into on their own. Um, I don't, we don't want to be like stage no. parents. But don't get me wrong, if they wanted to learn, we're happy to they teach them. <laughs> Best job in the world. job I, I don't know second I don't know. best I tried second this best. one with my kids like hey look at my thumb <laughs> oh no way that's they're not pretty cool they're not impressed uh, actually Whitney uh -oh. <laughs> is that a quarter behind your ear <laughs> that was wow. amazing wow. I know you think that's spectacular yeah stick around coming up after oh. the break we're gonna take you outside Setting the bar pretty high talk weather <laughs>